Test four. Listening. There are four parts to the test. You will hear each part twice. We will now stop for a moment. Please ask any questions now, because you must not speak during the test. Now look at the instructions for part one. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at question one. One. Where does the girl want to go at the weekend? Are you looking forward to the weekend? Yes, we're going ice skating. Do you want to come? It's always so crowded, so you crash into other people. Like when you go to a rock concert. It's supposed to be great, but you're just looking at these little people in the distance while you're surrounded by too many other people. I'm going to the art gallery to see the sculptures instead. It'll be more peaceful. Rather you than me. Now listen again. Are you looking forward to the weekend? Yes, we're going ice skating. Do you want to come? It's always so crowded, so you crash into other people. Like when you go to a rock concert. It's supposed to be great, but you're just looking at these little people in the distance while you're surrounded by too many other people. I'm going to the art gallery to see the sculptures instead. It'll be more peaceful. Rather you than me. Two. When will the boy have his party? I hope you're going to come to my birthday party. I'm going to be 18 at last. Sure. When's your birthday? The 6th? It's the 5th, actually. The party will be on the 4th, though, because we're going on holiday on the 6th. So the 5th would be too complicated with leaving the next morning. Well, I'd love to come. Now listen again. I hope you're going to come to my birthday party. I'm going to be 18 at last. Sure. When's your birthday? The 6th? It's the 5th, actually. The party will be on the 4th, though, because we're going on holiday on the 6th. So the 5th would be too complicated with leaving the next morning. Well, I'd love to come. Three. Which photo does the woman like most? I think all these photos of your parents are great. Yes, they are. This one's my favourite, though. It's more interesting with one of them standing than both sitting, I think. Mum's quite a bit taller than Dad, so he wanted to be standing while she sat, so you couldn't tell the difference between them. Oh, things like that don't really matter. Now listen again. I think all these photos of your parents are great. Yes, they are. This one's my favourite, though. It's more interesting with one of them standing than both sitting, I think. Mum's quite a bit taller than Dad, so he wanted to be standing while she sat, so you couldn't tell the difference between them. Oh, things like that don't really matter. Four. What will be on TV at 9pm? Now there's a change to our normal programmes this evening. The championship football match, which was due to finish at 9, isn't going to finish until 9.30 now, meaning that Life of Lions will be delayed by half an hour. Rock in the Park will now be shown tomorrow afternoon instead. We understand that this may not be very convenient and do apologise for this. Now listen again. Now there's a change to our normal programmes this evening. The championship football match, which was due to finish at 9, isn't going to finish until 9.30 now, meaning that Life of Lions will be delayed by half an hour. 
Rock in the Park will now be shown tomorrow afternoon instead. Understand that this may not be very convenient and do apologise for this. Five. What do they decide to buy Ivan for his birthday? We need to get Ivan's birthday present today, don't we? He's a good friend, so we should get him something. Yes, his birthday's tomorrow. I think we should get a backpack. He was saying how much he likes yours. He could put all his stuff in it, like his sunglasses. Those sunglasses. And his spare t-shirts. Yes, Ivan's always got a spare t-shirt. That's agreed, then. Now listen again. We need to get Ivan's birthday present today, don't we? He's a good friend, so we should get him something. Yes, his birthday's tomorrow. I think we should get a backpack. He was saying how much he likes yours. He could put all his stuff in it, like his sunglasses. Those sunglasses. And his spare t-shirts. Yes, Ivan's always got a spare t-shirt. That's agreed, then. Six. What time does the last bus leave? Hi, it's me. I'm late leaving the theatre, I'm afraid. It's ten past eleven already, and I'm pretty sure I'm not going to make the usual bus. I think I can probably manage to get the 11.30, though. It'll get me into the station at 11.50, which isn't too bad. There are no more buses after that, so I'll let you know if I miss it. I'll have to get a taxi instead. Now listen again. Hi, it's me. I'm late leaving the theatre, I'm afraid. It's ten past eleven already, and I'm pretty sure I'm not going to make the usual bus. I think I can probably manage to get the 11.30, though. It'll get me into the station at 11.50, which isn't too bad. There are no more buses after that, so I'll let you know if I miss it. I'll have to get a taxi instead. Seven. What is the weather like today? And now it's time for the weather. There is nothing great to report, I'm sorry to say. The rain which started yesterday has become thick fog, and that's causing everyone a lot of problems on the roads this morning. Some strong wind is expected early tomorrow, and that should mean the fog will be blown away, although temperatures are expected to stay more or less the same. Now listen again. And now it's time for the weather. There is nothing great to report, I'm sorry to say. The rain which started yesterday has become thick fog, and that's causing everyone a lot of problems on the roads this morning. Some strong wind is expected early tomorrow, and that should mean the fog will be blown away, although temperatures are expected to stay more or less the same. That is the end of part one. Now look at part two. For each question, choose the correct answer. Eight. You will hear two friends talking about fashion. What do they agree about? Do you like staying up to date with fashion? I'm not bothered about it. I don't want to be unfashionable, but clothes aren't what matters. I think they are. Clothes say lots about a person. Well, anyway, I'm not into fast fashion. I know the stuff doesn't cost much, but the idea is you just wear it a few times and then throw it away. And the material's rubbish. 
I know, but it's a great option if you want to follow the trends. Better gear, like designer stuff, costs too much. Right. No one I know can afford it, that's for sure. Now listen again. Do you like staying up to date with fashion? I'm not bothered about it. I don't want to be unfashionable, but clothes aren't what matters. I think they are. Clothes say lots about a person. Well, anyway, I'm not into fast fashion. I know the stuff doesn't cost much, but the idea is you just wear it a few times and then throw it away, and the material's rubbish. I know, but it's a great option if you want to follow the trends. Better gear, like designer stuff, costs too much. Right. No one I know can afford it, that's for sure. Nine. You will hear two friends talking about going climbing for the first time. How does the man feel about it? Are you coming on the Try Climbing Day on Sunday? Yes. I'll be going into the mountains. I love it up there. <laughs> We're staying closer to the ground, I'm afraid. We're just going to the park. We haven't climbed before, so I'm sure they won't choose anything too hard. The instructors, you mean? Yeah, they're really experienced. So we'll be in safe hands then? Yes. I wonder how hard it'll really be, climbing. I stopped going to the gym a while ago, so I just hope I'm strong enough. Well, I'm sure we'll find out on Sunday. <laughs> See you then! Now listen again. Are you coming on the Try Climbing Day on Sunday? Yes. I'll be going into the mountains. I love it up there. <laughs> We're staying closer to the ground, I'm afraid. We're just going to the park. We haven't climbed before, so I'm sure they won't choose anything too hard. The instructors, you mean? Yeah. They're really experienced. So we'll be in safe hands then? Yes. I wonder how hard it'll really be, climbing. I stopped going to the gym a while ago, so I just hope I'm strong enough. Well, I'm sure we'll find out on Sunday. <laughs> See you then! Ten. You will hear two colleagues talking about their jobs at a restaurant. What does the woman say about her job? Another day begins. I know. We're selling that new burger for the first time today. They've advertised it on TV, so I'm sure there'll be lots of hungry customers coming in for it. I bet that's the only thing we'll get asked for today. So it'll be a long day standing at that grill doing the same thing again and again. True, but they've just increased our pay, so we can't complain. Well, it still isn't brilliant, but anyway, we have a laugh, don't we, while we work? That's more than you can say of a lot of jobs. Yeah. Now listen again. Another day begins. I know. We're selling that new burger for the first time today. They've advertised it on TV, so I'm sure there'll be lots of hungry customers coming in for it. I bet that's the only thing we'll get asked for today. So it'll be a long day standing at that grill doing the same thing again and again. True, but they've just increased our pay, so we can't complain. Well, it still isn't brilliant, but anyway, we have a laugh, don't we, while we work? That's more than you can say of a lot of jobs. Yeah. Eleven. You will hear a couple talking about their house. What do they say about it? I'm glad we moved here, aren't you? Definitely. I love the area. Now I'm going to start working from home, though. 
I'm wondering where I'm going to put my desk. We could make space for it in the second bedroom. I guess we could. We'll have to get rid of all those old books and things in there. And we'll have to decorate and fix those shelves. That won't take too long to do. We'll make it look as good as new. Well, let's get started on it this weekend then. Now listen again. I'm glad we moved here, aren't you? Definitely. I love the area. Now I'm going to start working from home, though. I'm wondering where I'm going to put my desk. We could make space for it in the second bedroom. I guess we could. We'll have to get rid of all those old books and things in there. And we'll have to decorate and fix those shelves. That won't take too long to do. We'll make it look as good as new. Well, let's get started on it this weekend, then. Twelve. You will hear two university students talking about some work. What is the girl trying to do? I've just had my mark back from my latest essay. I didn't do as well as I'd hoped. Oh, sorry to hear that. It was challenging, though. I found it difficult. I did okay, but a lot of people didn't. Anyway, I'm sure you don't want to talk about it. Have you already started on the next project? The one about world geography? Sort of. I've been to the library. Have you managed to find that book about old maps of the world? Yes, actually. Do you want to borrow it? I've finished with it now. Oh, if you don't mind. Now listen again. I've just had my mark back from my latest essay. I didn't do as well as I'd hoped. Oh, sorry to hear that. It was challenging, though. I found it difficult. I did okay, but a lot of people didn't. Anyway, I'm sure you don't want to talk about it. Have you already started on the next project? The one about world geography? Sort of. I've been to the library. Have you managed to find that book about old maps of the world? Yes, actually. Do you want to borrow it? I've finished with it now. Oh, if you don't mind. Thirteen. You will hear a brother and sister talking about a meal they have just had. What did they think about it? Great meal! You know you'll get something tasty in this restaurant. That's why we come here so often. What was that flavour in the sauce? I don't think I've tasted it before. It was some mix of herbs, I think, but I can't say for certain. I doubt the chef will tell us. They always try out new things here. I like the way they experiment with stuff. Yeah, like that rice dish they make. Remember I tried to make it at home? I couldn't get it right. We won't be able to do this one without knowing what's in it. Now listen again. Great meal! You know you'll get something tasty in this restaurant. That's why we come here so often. What was that flavour in the sauce? I don't think I've tasted it before. It was some mix of herbs, I think, but I can't say for certain. I doubt the chef will tell us. They always try out new things here. I like the way they experiment with stuff. Yeah, like that rice dish they make. Remember I tried to make it at home. I couldn't get it right. We won't be able to do this one without knowing what's in it. That is the end of part two. Now look at part three. For each question, write the correct answer in the gap. Write one or two words, or a number, or a date, or a time. Look at questions 14 to 19 now. 
You have 20 seconds. You will hear a woman called Amanda Wright talking about holiday jobs for students. Good morning, my name's Amanda Wright and I'm here to talk about holiday jobs, which many of you are probably looking for. There's plenty of choice out there for you. The majority of students trying to get a holiday job are doing so because they need the money. But the experience you gain by doing a job is useful too. There are various ways to find out about jobs. You can look in newspapers, though websites are usually more up to date. You can ask friends what they're doing. They might know about a job where they're working, but they won't know about everything out there. Let's say you've seen a job you want. It's time to apply. Remember that your application letter is all the employer's going to know about you. Despite what you may think, it isn't smart or efficient to send the same letter to everyone. Write in a personal way and show you're really interested. With the luck, you'll get a reply inviting you to go for an interview. Make sure you're ready for it. Do some research. It's important to know about the company and make sure you choose the right clothes to wear. Check how to get there too, so you're not late on the day. It's also very important to understand what the job involves. What does the job advertisement really tell you? In order to do the job well, what skills will you need to have? Maybe IT, or language, or communication. Finally, think about how the job fits you. Where do you like to spend time? I generally advise students against trying for jobs based in the countryside as they tend to mean less contact with other people than you get in the city. But it's your choice, so make the most of it. Now listen again. Good morning, my name's Amanda Wright and I'm here to talk about holiday jobs which many of you are probably looking for. There's plenty of choice out there for you. The majority of students trying to get a holiday job are doing so because they need the money, but the experience you gain by doing a job is useful too. There are various ways to find out about jobs. You can look in newspapers, though websites are usually more up to date. You can ask friends what they're doing. They might know about a job where they're working, but they won't know about everything out there. Let's say you've seen a job you want. It's time to apply. Remember that your application letter is all the employer's going to know about you. Despite what you may think, it isn't smart or efficient to send the same letter to everyone. Write in a personal way and show you're really interested. With the luck, you'll get a reply inviting you to go for an interview. Make sure you're ready for it. Do some research. It's important to know about the company and make sure you choose the right clothes to wear. Check how to get there too so you're not late on the day. It's also very important to understand what the job involves. What does the job advertisement really tell you? In order to do the job well, what skills will you need to have? Maybe IT or language or communication. Finally, think about how the job fits you. Where do you like to spend time? I generally advise students against trying for jobs based in the countryside as they tend to mean less contact with other people than you get in the city. But it's your choice, so make the most of it. That is the end of part three. Now look at part four. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions 20 to 25 now. You have 45 seconds.
you will hear a radio interview with a man called Jim Andrews about a steam railway. Welcome to Jim Andrews, who's going to tell us about a steam railway he is involved with. Jim, how did you get interested in steam trains? My own love of steam railways is long-standing. Before I started university, I went to stay with my grandfather for a few weeks. He had an enormous toy train set, a real kid's dream, and we spent hours playing with it. I've been fascinated ever since. <laughs> and what do you do for the Steam Railway Club you're a member of? These days I love riding on full-size steam trains, and I'm hoping to train as a driver. Meanwhile, I'm the club's chairman, which keeps me busy. We have a comprehensive website, which my son runs for us, and there's all sorts of information on there, as well as a library of pictures. The original railway line no longer operates, does it? No, but now the Steam Railway Club runs its own trains on the old line. The first train company was taken over in 1958 and incorporated into the regional company. But many lines in the region started closing in 1974, and in 1979 it was the turn of this line, which then sat unused for quite a few years. And you take passengers for rides? Right. A group of us got together to try and do something about the situation, and we formed the Steam Railway Club in 1995. In 2000, we were happy to be transporting real passengers for the first time, with a proper service running to a timetable in 2003. We've had many thousands of passengers now. But you're not stopping there. What's next? We'll be buying more old trains and increasing the number of services we provide. Our educational visits for school groups are popular and we'll be expanding later in the year. Starting this month, you'll also be able to have lunch on one of our trains. We've nearly finished getting the kitchen ready. Mind you, if you also choose to ride in the driver's cabin, as some people do, you'll need to wash thoroughly before eating. <laughs> What's special about the club for you? Well, it continues to develop. I believe our role is important. It's lovely to see the way children find trains so interesting. All transport seems to fascinate kids. We're glad that our trains and this station are in active use, rather than just preserved in a museum. It's that sense of the past living on through these trains that makes us really proud. Now listen again. Welcome to Jim Andrews, who's going to tell us about a steam railway he is involved with. Jim, how did you get interested in steam trains? My own love of steam railways is long-standing. Before I started university, I went to stay with my grandfather for a few weeks. He had an enormous toy train set, a real kid's dream, and we spent hours playing with it. I've been fascinated ever since. <laughs> and what do you do for the Steam Railway Club you're a member of? These days I love riding on full-size steam trains, and I'm hoping to train as a driver. Meanwhile, I'm the club's chairman, which keeps me busy. We have a comprehensive website, which my son runs for us, and there's all sorts of information on there, as well as a library of pictures. The original railway line no longer operates, does it? No, but now the Steam Railway Club runs its own trains on the old line. The first train company was taken over in 1958 and incorporated into the regional company. But many lines in the region started closing in 1974, and in 1979 it was the turn of this line which then sat unused for quite a few years. 
And you take passengers for rides? Right. A group of us got together to try and do something about the situation, and we formed the Steam Railway Club in 1995. In 2000, we were happy to be transporting real passengers for the first time, with a proper service running to a timetable in 2003. We've had many thousands of passengers now. But you're not stopping there. What's next? We'll be buying more old trains and increasing the number of services we provide. Our educational visits for school groups are popular and will be expanding later in the year. Starting this month, you'll also be able to have lunch on one of our trains. We've nearly finished getting the kitchen ready. Mind you, if you also choose to ride in the driver's cabin, as some people do, you'll need to wash thoroughly before eating. <laughs> What's special about the club for you? Well, it continues to develop. I believe our role is important. It's lovely to see the way children find trains so interesting. All transport seems to fascinate kids. We're glad that our trains and this station are in active use, rather than just preserved in a museum. It's that sense of the past living on through these trains that makes us really proud. That is the end of part four. You now have six minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet.